Hi, this is Peter Stanley. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to show a way to create a uh, planning template for you know, various hydroponic systems. Uh, the one I'm using the example for is the Harvest 360. This and what I've made, I've kind of eyeballed it, but it, it's approximate as far as the locations of the planting sites. And you could do this for any like area, like the sprout, the or the original deck, the seed starting deck, the bounty, regular harvest, uh, whatever. Uh, I'm only going to create the ones that I'm using this year. So I'll put them on my website. You can download them. I'll put a link in the description. Um, it may not be in there when I release the video, but I'll update it at some point. But uh, hopefully you can just create your own. And you could just print these out and just write on them. Or uh, I made it so I could import them on my Kindle Scrub and and then write on there. And that way if I had to make changes, because I always make changes. Like in previous years, I'd print something out or I'd hand create it and you just draw it out. And the... Um, what ended up happening is like either maybe something didn't germinate, so I'd, I'd move, remove that plug, and then like I might have extras of something else and put something different there. Or as I'm transplanting them out, you know, the bigger ones out, um, I'll move them around, to give them more spacing. And so I was constantly scratching out what I'd written down and putting something else, and it became a really big mess uh, by the end of it all. So this way, uh, it's a real clean way. I'll show you at the end of this how you can just you know, erase it and change it, whatever. So this is, uh, and it's not perfect, but this is kind of a completed, I'll probably update it a little bit before I actually use it, but I uh, like, you know, for the Harvest 360. And I'm using a, a service called Canva, and I saw a, a, another YouTube video, someone showing how to use Canva to create this, you know, similar template, but it was for like a, like a planner for like a yearly, daily, monthly planner. So I thought I could, you know, just adapt that to, to what I needed for this. And and I'm not, not by any means a Canva expert. I literally just used it to create this the, um, yesterday. And so I might be doing things wrong or the hard way or whatever, but at least it'll get you started. So, uh, so what you would do is go to um, canva.com and create an account. And they have, they have like a, like a premium version that costs money offers a lot of uh, templates and whatnot and other features but you can do what I'm showing you with just the free that's what I've, I just had the free account and uh, so anyway so sign in and then you get to create a design and go to custom size here at the bottom change this to inches and make this eight and a half by eleven create design and then you got a bunch of tools here on the left elements text etc uh, so you got elements and these are some that I recently use so you can do um, shapes and you can scroll through here and pick different ones but so I'm just starting out with this Let's scale it up it's got some pretty really good like snapping features to for alignment so it's gonna start with that and the you don't really have to do this but you can see like this has like little notch here this is where the light hood stand goes so i could kind of represent that with a smaller one anyway that's good enough and then for the same something I use the same circle for the gray sites you can scale these whatever size you want you really need to have it in front of you when you're building it just to kind of get it and you can move it around one thing i did learn too if you like say you got several of several of these you can you can shift click them all and then size them all at once so they make it a little easier if you need to adjust all of them so say you get the size that you want let's see start it there so we'll just hit the duplicate and duplicate duplicate again you can see how it's aligning to the other ones 
It's, that's a really good feature. So anyway, you would just keep repeating that till you have all your holes filled. And then for, and there's probably, might be an easier way to do this, but like for the numbers, I'm going to go here, add a text box. I'm just put the number one. Increase the size a little bit to what I want. Increase size. And then just put it here in your over your circle. And just like with the circles, you're gonna need to duplicate it. And just change it. I'm not gonna do I'm just showing a few just to just to give you kind of an implementation to follow but um, so anyway so you do all those and then you want to have a like something in the bottom to write the whatever seed you put in the um, uh, respective uh, growth site so uh, you could probably do like maybe the horizontal line make a bunch of lines and, and numbers I did a table so I went to elements Let's see, there's other tables you can do. Yes, yeah, so there's different. I don't. I didn't see a way to like auto like. I mean, like define how many rows and columns initially. There might be a way to, but so I just um, you can just left. I mean, actually, right click in there, and then I want to add a couple columns. I'm going to the the deck has 23 gray sites, so I'm just going to make a five by five. So I need to add a row. And there's a way to maybe it's this. Yeah, there's a you click here if you need to make these. You know, if you get the spacing wrong, you can size columns equally. I, there might be a one for the row. I think there actually is. Yeah, this would allow you to size the rows equally so that there's some tools to kind of straighten these out if they if you um, get them messed up so anyway uh, when I created mine I did like a little text box number for each one of these you could do that or you could just type in and you know whatever and then go up here and change the alignment and, and so on and while that one, it might be bolding this one because it's thinking this is a column header. So I, mean, I, I don't know if that's um, wait. Yeah, actually, that's the way to unbold that. Okay, actually, I'd probably want them all bolded. But anyway, so you just kind of get like one, two, three, four, or yeah, however you want, or you can go across numbering. Like however you, it might actually make more sense to go across. I don't know, but either way, you, whatever you want to do, just be consistent with it. And um, so. You could put like a header for uh, let's see what the growth system is. Like I just put harvest three sixty. I mean, it's not necessary. I'm just showing. You can just do whatever you, if you want that uh, you could put something for a date or you could just I just left this stuff blank and wrote it right over it but I'll show you how that looks anyway so you do all of this and you get it fleshed out the way you want and it always saves for you so when you're ready to download it just file uh, yeah, download and then on the file type change it to PDF. I think the PDF standard is probably a smaller file size. So. I need to pause this just to tell you. I had this backwards. You actually get a smaller file size if you choose the PDF print option instead of PDF standard. And I don't know if flattened PDF makes a difference or not. I can check. But anyway, just download that. And I didn't name it, so it just. And I had already did a test one unnamed, so it just put one in and one with in parentheses here. But yeah, this is where you would actually change the name I think so if I had done this first that would have been following actually I'm just going to save it again just so it'll be uh, I mean I totally don't need to do this but 
Um, I'm just lazy, so I'm have to rename it. So I'm going to delete all these out anyway. So anyway, there's my, my file. I can pull that up, and that's how it looks. Anyway, so there's that. And then if you wanted to, there's different ways you can send it to your Kindle. But there's like just the send to Kindle page, and then drop it. In, you know, just bring up your File Explorer and drop it over, and then um, you can see where I've done some tests. And then when once it's in the lot, once it's processed, you can see it on your Kindle. So let me. I did. So you can see, like, if I I can write on here. That's all I can write. Like, uh, of course, I'm at an awkward right angle, so it actually is more natural if I wasn't trying to video. There's that. I mean, whatever. And these are my like. Like say I put ghost pepper and this one and the second one. So I put scotch bonnet and these two. Ring of fire. My handwriting is pretty sloppy too. Anyway. And I you know, I fill all these out so you know each one like number one is going to correspond to this gross site. so but like say say like number two boot didn't uh, germinate for whatever reason but I had extras of the scotch bonnet I could change there and so on as I, as I move things around I can just erase and update and that way I keep a really clean um, you know record of that and then if I wanted to print it out later I could or it would just I could just save it or whatever keep it as it is and it's like going to change so anyway it's something new I'm trying this year and I uh, thought it might be useful for other people in the community so I wanted to share it and uh, I hope you found that useful and uh, thank you very much for watching please like comment and subscribe